Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Kathleen and I am so excited to bring you this video. I know a lot of people have been asking about my skincare routine and here it is. I am so stoked to share with you a few tips, a few products that I love and enjoy. I used to not have a skincare routine um, because I didn't really see the importance of it, but now that I've gotten a routine down, I feel more comfortable with sharing this with you guys. But I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you wanna see my skincare routine, just keep watching all right so I pulled back my hair um, to start off with removing the makeup I use the Pond's cold cream cleansing balm looks like this the one thing that I will say I do not like about it is that it has a fragrance but I was watching Hiram's video today about cleansing 101 and he said or cleansing bombs 101 he said that and I trust Hiram so I mean do your own research but anyway I trust Hiram he was saying that if your cleansing bomb has fragrance that's fine because you will be washing it off if it's something like your moisturizer or any of those things that stay on your face for a long period of time that's when he doesn't recommend for you to have fragrance but things like this like the balm it's okay since it should be on your face he recommends and i also see that i see the best results when i keep this balm on my face for at least like one to two minutes you want to be very gentle. I will say the eyes is the main focal point. I'm going to look crazy in this, by the way. I mean. All right, so I just rinsed off my cleansing balm. When rinsing off your cleansing balm, I recommend rinsing it off with warm water. So I will let you know that I do have dehydrated skin. I know there's a difference between dry and dehydrated skin. My esthetician told me I have dehydrated skin. I don't have the facts on the differences. All I know is I really need to extra moisturize my face so to wash my face i'll be taking my CeraVe hydrating cream to foam cleanser um it's the one that is helpful with removing your makeup um so i'm just gonna go ahead and again rinse my face with warm water once i rinse my face with warm water i just take one pump of the CeraVe and I've already washed my hands by the way. So I like to mix it up in my hands first before putting on my face for some reason. I feel like, I don't know, it feels better on my face. And so I do a very light circular motion and you wanna have your face wash on your face for at least a minute I like to do circular motions you don't want to forget your neck because you tend to put sunscreen or makeup on your face and on your eyes especially gentle on your eye under eyes and once you've had that on for at least a minute, I'm going to rinse it off with cold water to close the pores. All right, sorry if there's any angle changes or lighting change. I definitely need a new camera. It overheats way too fast. But I just rinsed my face with cold water to secure everything and close in the pores. And then I went ahead and pat dried my face. You want to be really careful when drying your face with a towel. You don't want to go too crazy because your skin is very, very sensitive. And you want to just keep it taut and tight, you know what I mean? So we're going to go straight into my, my moisturizer. All right, so the first thing I like to take is the Ordinary's Hyaluronic Acid. Um, I just got mine from Ulta. I believe you can get it also obviously online and I just take a whole pump and I like to swirl it in my hands, warm it up and you want to focus your movements going upward, especially when it comes to around your eyes under eyes you want to be extra gentle and take that to the chin you don't want to forget your chin 
I love this so, so much. It's very gentle. Um, I think that it's perfect also for sensitive skin because it's a very clean product. The next thing I like to take is my Neutrogena Hydro Boost Moisturizer. It's a gel cream and this consistency is everything. So I just take a little scoop like that. At first that freaked me out because I'm kind of OCD about, I don't know, scraping. Oh yeah, I, if I think about it too much. All right, <laughs> anyways. So I'm just gonna do the same thing all over. Lifting motion, careful under the eyes. I love this because it is very light. So you can honestly, in the morning, just use this and you just feel so moisturized. I used to use this serum, but I felt like it didn't hydrate me as much as this gel cream. I think it's because the serum is just lighter. I honestly don't know the difference. If you know the difference between the gel cream and the serum, let your girl know. But there's that. I love the way this feels on the skin, it's so light. So after that, I like to go in with my CeraVe Daily Moisturizer Lotion. I also just take a pump. That was a really bad pump. Anyways, and I lather that sucker on my face. Honestly, this whole time I have pretty much the same motion. Very gentle. You also do not want to forget behind the ears, I think, and on the ears. I think we tend to forget that area and it feels so nice. It's like I'm giving myself a massage. Let me just tell you guys background really quickly because I, I don't know if you guys are in the same boat where I didn't take skincare like seriously. I was like, oh, I was young. I have a lot of time to rejuvenate and fix up my skin. And there's medical help for that if you needed to or if you wanted to. But I just didn't really take it seriously. But now I find it so therapeutic. And to give you a background on my past routines, it was makeup wipes and say knives, apricot scrub. The two worst things you could probably do for your skin, for your face especially. My esthetician, when I told her I used to use um, the St. Ives avocado scrub thing, she was like, toss that, please toss that. That can literally be a foot scrub, so keep in mind, stay away from those products. But anyways, what I like to do is take my CeraVe uh, Skin Renewing Cream Serum. So I just like to take a little pea size of that and swirl that around on my other ring finger and tap that under my eyes. I've heard that this is a great alternative for eye cream. I haven't found an eye cream that I really like. I haven't really honestly seen too much of a difference into this because I just started incorporating this into my skincare not too long ago. All right, next thing I like to do is take my Maybelline Lash Sensational Boosting Serum and I just apply that to my lashes. I used to use Rapid Lash. I loved it, but it did get pricey after a while. If you have any recommendations as far as serums go that are clean, I know I used castor oil for a bit. I just didn't see anything. I don't know if it's because of the castor oil I used, but if you have any recommendations as far as serums for your eyelashes or your eyebrows, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, but the next thing I like to do, and the last thing as far as my face goes, is take my Aquaphor and lather just like a pea size on my lips. And in the morning, those babies are plump and moisturized. I love this. I cannot find anything better than Aquaphor. It is amazing. Just chef's kiss, honestly. So this is not for my face, but I like to incorporate it into this skincare routine because I think a lot of people tend to forget 
to moisturize their hands. It is one of the first things that age. So I'm taking my hand food by Soap and Glory. I just take a little bit and you just want to make sure to moisturize your hands because girl, I know for me, I get, I have dehydrated skin so my hands get dry very, very easily, especially during the winter. So it is very crucial to not forget about that. So yes, moisturize your hands, especially now since we are constantly washing our hands and putting alcohol from hand sanitizer, it dries out so much quicker. So don't forget that step. But that's all for my nighttime skincare routine. The only difference between my daytime and nighttime is actually I don't use the Ordinary's um, Hyaluronic Acid in the morning because I feel like it leaves this residue on my face when I have makeup on. I don't know if it's from my sponge and I'm just like hitting it on my face too strong or if I'm putting too much um, of the Ordinary on my face. I'm not sure if that happens to anyone else. If you can let me know down in the comments below what that is problem is because I love that to death like I feel like it really helps moisturize and keep me hydrated my camera is really trying me right now my camera is really trying me all right anyways as I was saying last but not least is your sunscreen and I know so many people have ranted and raged about this I was also that person that was like what do you mean sunscreen? I want my freckles. And I thought it was so cute to have freckles. But then after a while, I noticed I really aged myself from not wearing sunscreen and not protecting myself from the sun because it, although it is very beautiful and you feel great and it warms you up and whatever, it is not good for your skin. So please find yourself a nice sunscreen. I'm actually in the hunt for finding a really good sunscreen. Right now I'm using Neutrogena like deodorant type style. Um, I love that, but I feel as though it makes my makeup spread. So if anyone has a recommendation for that and that doesn't leave a white residue on your face, I would greatly appreciate that. But other than that, that's the only difference between my nighttime skincare routine and my daytime skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed and got a lot of value out of it. Uh, let me know what your favorite skincare products are down below. I'd love to see and check those out because I am always in for a new skincare product and just test it out. I don't feel as though I have that sensitive of skin, so send them my way but go ahead and like subscribe post notifications the whole shebang i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my next one bye